data to uh, my slave database. Let me open the database. So this is the database, and we have to send all this data from application now. Previously, we have sent this data using Postman API tester. Right? Now we have to post all the data from application. So before that, uh, we will add some validation here. Okay, when we click here on book now, here on click of save button, it must show a pop up like please enter username or please enter email address. These kind of validations we have to implement here. For example, I'm clicking here and it will ask me for email address. Okay, please enter email address. This is the pop up it is showing. So we have to go to personal info activity and uh, we have to add these lines here. If name is empty, then it, it must show a pop up, a toast message. Otherwise, when email is empty, this kind of pop up and similarly for all fields we have to show those messages for all fields then if all the conditions will be fulfilled uh, then in that case we have to launch room info activity and again I have uh, I did the same thing here also when user ask for uh, room info uh, information okay room uh, related information let me open it again and when we click on save then only it will move to next screen okay and now again when you click on preview it will ask for please enter check-in date right so for that you have to add these all lines of code for I mean uh, you have to implement the toast message in case of empty uh, boxes or empty values now next what we have to do after that in final activity number of rooms Right. when we click on preview and on final screen when we click on submit it must go to database okay. so let's start with that functionality so first of all we have to add retrofit library here so you have to add these these two uh, libraries uh, to implement API integration we are using retrofit library here so add this library to your uh, gradle build and sync that properly then here now first we have to create a package here And inside network, we have to create an interface for all the APIs. Which is our interface. Enter. Now, we have to create a method. So this way we have to create parameter for each field in form of request body. Now next thing here is we need to create an instance of retrofit. So create a new Java class 
and its name will be retrofit client instance okay and it's a class enter now here what we have to do first we have to create a instance of retrofit Now we have to create a field for, for base URL. Final keyword here we are using to make it immutable. So the base URL will be never updated. It's a constant value. So we will get base URL from Postman. In last lecture, I have clearly shown that how we have to use uh, API in Postman. So we can get uh, the base URL from Postman. So this copy the complete URL and paste inside it and accept the API name. API name I have already added here and uh, later it will uh, concatenate with the base URL and it will create a complete UI, uh, uh, API. Now next thing is we need to create a method to get the instance of retrofit.
so this is the uh, this way we have created uh, with this method and uh, uh, here we are returning instance of request body so this way we can we don't need to write this line again and ag again here uh, we just need to use this method directly here now next thing is we need to call retrofit so we can uh, call that now So it have automatically generate uh, the code for response and failure okay now next what we have to do here is if response dot body dot uh, is uh, not equals to null then a toast message with success and else short message with error similarly here we are going to pass a short message Here we can get error body also. So this way, these are few lines we have to implement uh, to post data to uh, uh, database. Okay. So now one thing uh, is very important. In place of this local host, we have to get the IP address of the network. Okay. So it, it will not support local host here. So IP config config and we can copy this address from here and paste here at port number 80 now I am running it and we have to start XAMPP server So, so now let's check the database first refresh it and you can see that there are two data only and go to the application and after implementing the code on final activity oh yes the thing is we have to write the method here first and uh, run it again So we have created, uh, we, ha we are calling the post data method on click of button submit. So let's click here and let's see what happened. Here you can see the message, those message of success. Okay. So let's go to the database again and refresh it. So there must be ID number four with a new record. Yes. So record updated here. So this is the way how we can add uh, data from application to database. Okay, so we uh, we need to create APIs and then we need to do API integration using Retrofit or Wally or any other methods like OKHttp. So in next uh, lecture we will create a admin panel to show all the bookings to admin. Thank you.